Thunderstorm include Otter Creek County Park, Milo, Lacona, 
Mill to Dallas and Sandyville. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 26 and 32. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for South Central Iowa. Repeating a severe thunderstorm. Let's see if I can get it on channel 5. I doubt I can know. Okay, yeah, they're doing a cancellation message. I don't know why they do this at the time. Warning for Northwestern Decatur and Southwestern Clark counties is canceled. The storm which prompted the warning has weakened below severe limits and has exited the warned area. Yeah. Therefore, the warning has been canceled. A tornado watch remains in effect. I kind of find this kind of weird. But they do do this. I have no idea why they send out another tone. I'm sure you can call them and ask them about that, but I'm not going to do it. The storm which seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for South Central Iowa. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 2.45 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa, Clark, Madison, Union, and Warren. The National Weather Service in Des Moines has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Polk County in central Iowa, Madison County in south central Iowa, southeastern Dallas County in central Iowa, northwestern Warren County in south central Iowa, until 2.30 p.m. At 2.01 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Winterset, moving north at 60 miles per hour. Expected hazards include half-dollar-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Damage to vehicles is expected. This severe thunderstorm will be near DeSoto, Van Meter, and Badger Creek State Park around 2.15 p.m. Jordan Creek Town Center around 2.20 p.m. Other locations in the path of a severe thunderstorm include Wanty. This includes the following highways. Interstate 35 between mile markers 57 and 70. Interstate 80 between mile markers 107 and 108. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The storm is producing large hail. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for Central and South Central Iowa. Shit, triple header! A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 2.30 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa, Dallas, Madison, Polk, and Warren. Shit, triple header! This is no all no. hazards weather radio station WXL 50. I thought we... Oh my god, triple header! Service in Des Moines has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Marion County in south central Iowa, southern Jasper County in central Iowa, east central Warren County in south central Iowa until 2.45 p.m. You guys want some? At 2.03 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Sandyville or 11 miles east of Indianola, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected Love you include 60 miles per hour. Bye. Bye. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hill damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Pleasantville around 2.10 p.m. Swan around 2.15 p.m. Lake Red Rock and Elk Rock State Park around 2.20 p.m. Other locations in the path of a severe thunderstorm include Monroe, Reisner, Newton, Iowa Speedway, Lambs Grove, and Newton Municipal Airport. 
This includes Interstate 80 between mile markers 161 and 170. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for Central and South Central Iowa. Can I do any more? A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 2.45 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa, Jasper, Marion, and Warren. Shit, that was a triple header. This is Noah All Hazards Weather. National Weather Service in Des Moines has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern Lucas County in South Central Iowa, Northern Decatur County in South Central Iowa, Clark County in South Central Iowa, Southeastern Warren County in South Central Iowa, until 2.45 p.m. At 2.06 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Van Wert, or nine miles northwest of Leon moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards include golf ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Van Wert around 2.10 p.m. Weldon around 2.15 p.m. Lakeside Casino around 2.20 p.m. Osceola around 2.25 p.m. Other locations in the path of this severe thunderstorm include Woodburn, Lucas, Lacona, and Otter Creek County Park. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 11 and 37. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for South Central Iowa. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 2.45 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa, Clark, Decatur, Lucas, and Warren. <coughs> Iowa, until 3 p.m. At 2.13 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Clive, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping pong ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Johnston around 2.20 p.m. Silorville, Granger and Margot Franklinwood State Park around 2.25 p.m. Polk City, Silorville Lake and Big Creek Lake around 2.30 p.m. Other locations in the path of this severe thunderstorm include Big Creek State Park, Slater, Elkhart, Alamon, Shell Bell, Huxley, Cambridge, Kelly, Iowa State Center and Ames Municipal Airport. This includes the following highways, Interstate 35 between mile markers 70 and 72, and between mile markers 87 and 113. Interstate 80 between mile markers 119 and 142. Interstate 235 between mile markers 1 and 14. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for Central Iowa. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 3 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa, Boone, Dallas, Polk, and Story. The National 45 p.m. At 2.40 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Iowa Speedway, or near Newton moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. <laughs> this severe thunderstorm will be near Kellogg around 2.50 p.m. Rock Creek Lake. Oakland Acres and Rock Creek State Park around 2.55 p.m. Laurel around 3 p.m. Other locations in the path of the severe thunderstorm include Gilman, Ferguson, LeGrand, Montour, Mesclacky Casino, Green Mountain, Garden.
Darwin and Union Grove State Park. This includes Interstate 80 between mile markers 161 and 183. Oh. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for Central Iowa. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 3.45 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa, Jasper, Marshall, Palatine, and Tama. That should be double header. Yeah, it is. This is what it's like to be in a high risk, y'all. This is what it's like. The National Weather Service in Des Moines has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Lucas County in south central Iowa. Damn, that girl is right. It's gonna be worse. Well, last year. Central Jasper County in central Iowa. Southeastern Warren County in south central Iowa until 3.30 p.m. At 2.39 p.m., a severe thunderstorm mm -hmm. was located over Lacoste, 12 miles Michael? northwest of Sheraton, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 50 miles per hour with guns and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roof, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Melcher, Dallas around 2.50 p.m. Other locations in the path of a severe thunderstorm include Knoxville, Pleasantville, Knoxville Raceway, Knoxville Municipal Airport, Lake Red Rock, Elk Rock State Park, and Monroe. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for Central and South Central Iowa. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 3.30 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa, Jasper, Lucas, Marion, and Warren. Weather service in Des Moines has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Story County in Central Iowa, Northwestern Marshall County in Central Iowa, Hardin County in Central Iowa, Southwestern Grundy County in Central Iowa, Southeastern Hamilton County in Central Iowa, East Central Boone County in Central Iowa, until 3.45 p.m. At 2.45 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Kelly or near Ames moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 2-inch hail and 60 miles per oh, hour shit, with gusts. This is a radar indicated oh, threat. Yeah, that's the following cool. impacts are expected. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near. Iowa State Center around 2.50 p.m. Ames, Nevada and Gilbert around 2.55 p.m. Story City and Roland around 3.05 p.m. Other locations in the path of a severe thunderstorm include McCallsburg, Randall, Garden City, Radcliffe, Drake Airport, Hubbard and Buckeye. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 103 and 139. The storm is producing large hail. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for Central and North Central Iowa. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 3.45 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa, Boone, Grundy, Hamilton, Harding, Marshall, and Story. Now let's see if they're going to do it. They're going to do that thing. The continue thing. Okay, then.
Oh no, wait, was that for her? That was Des Moines or Lacrosse. No, it was Des Moines. That was Des Moines that tripped on 20. Holy shit, that scared me. And I'm, that's the me.
impact time is from 11 p.m. this evening to 7 a.m. Saturday. Impacts travel could be very difficult. Widespread blowing snow could significantly reduce visibility. Gusty winds could bring down tree branches. Travel should be restricted to emergency. Yeah. If you must travel, have a winter survival kit with you. This thing off. If you get stranded, stay with your vehicle. The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be a Oh my god! Road conditions can also be found at 511mn.org for Minnesota or 511wi.gov for Wisconsin. Holy shit! And now a look at your forecast for Rochester and Southeast Minnesota. Okay! You're talking about a blizzard warning! Holy shit! Oh! Blizzard conditions expected. Total snow accumulations of 5 to 10 inches with locally heavier amounts possible. Winds gusting as high as 45 miles per hour. The main impacted area includes portions of south central and southeast Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. The main impact time is from 11 p.m. this evening to 7 a.m. Saturday. Impacts. Travel could be very difficult. Widespread blowing snow could significantly reduce visibility. Dusty winds could bring down tree branches. Travel should be restricted to emergencies only. If you oh, they're going in downstairs! If you get stranded, stay with your vehicle. The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be obtained by calling 511. This is a blizzard warning for the following county. Riverview, Minnesota. Blizzard conditions expected. Total snow accumulations of 5 to 10 inches with locally heavier amounts possible. Winds gusting as high as 45 miles per hour. The main impacted area includes portions of south central and southeast Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. The main impact time is from 11 p.m. this evening to 7 a.m. Saturday. Impacts. Travel could be very difficult. Widespread blowing snow could significantly reduce visibility. Gusty winds can bring down tree branches. Travel should be restricted to emergencies only. If you must travel, have a winter survival kit with you. If you get stranded, stay with your vehicle. The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be obtained by calling 511. Road conditions can also be found at 511mn.org for Minnesota or 511wi.gov for Wisconsin. Got it.